What's up you guys? This is a video that I've been so excited to film for so long and it's finally here. Obviously, if you can tell by the title of this video or my hair, you can see that there's a drastic change. Um, I'm blonde. Hello, it's me. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you all about my experience in going blonde, how I got there, what I did, what I didn't do, all that sort of stuff so that if any of you guys are thinking about going blonde, you have a little more like support and um, like less fear, I guess, is what I'm trying to go for. I've basically wanted blonde hair like for the last like three years. No, was it more than that? No, it's been about three years. Make sure to watch the rest of this video if you're curious about how I got blonde or just like it because I love it. <laughs> okay, so starting off with me wanting to go blonde, I've always, always wanted to go blonde and I think it's because I've never had like the option to go blonde. Like I've always had dark hair, dark eyes, like my whole family, dark hair, dark eyes. Like none of us could ever like be blonde ever if it was it was like not it was like artificial blonde which is like isn't as fun so like whenever i saw people with like naturally like long blonde hair i was just so mad i was like Ugh, i want blonde hair and i want it to look good on me and i swear it doesn't so i was just kind of like whatever like it's not gonna happen i'm not gonna like even try it i started to like you know ombre my hair like back my freshman year of college and i noticed that like the ends of my hair that were blonde like ended up looking really good on me and i'll insert some old pictures of me with an ombre cute i noticed that i kind of liked having lighter hair and so throughout the rest of college i sort of experimented with you know, different balayage techniques and different ombres, and I really, really love that style, and I still love that style, and I probably will go back to it one day. Junior year of college, I decided to go blonde, which was like a year and a half ago, and I had this like really similar haircut, and I was like not in any way different in any way, other than it was a year ago, but anyways. So I went and had this girl do it, and it was at my boyfriend's mom's salon, but it wasn't my boyfriend's mom, who's like a color genie and we like basically ended up just bleaching my entire head and it took like six hours and my head hurt so bad afterwards and I went home with like this really like brassy like dishwater blonde in my head I hadn't really like understood how blonde works and like that most of the time you can't get there like immediately especially if you've ever like colored your hair before so I was like really pissed off. I was like, you know, I wanted blonde hair and this isn't blonde and whatever. And so I was just like, you know, I'm done. And literally within like three hours, I had gone to Target, bought brown hair dye, and it dyed it all back. But yeah, so it was like, it was fun. And I like thought that it would be like really great, but I like, didn't have the patience to sit with hair that didn't look good. Like I was like, there's no way I'm gonna have ugly hair. Like I'm not gonna do that. Like I'm not even gonna like go through that. And so I just dyed it right back and everyone was really mad at me because they were like, we thought you were blonde and like six hours and like $200 later, like I'm not blonde anyways. And then about like when the whole like really like platinum white blonde sort of like trend kicked in about like a year ago, I always, always was like, I'm gonna do that. Like, and no, of course I'm not. I'm never gonna get there. Like I could never convince myself to fry my like beautifully brown like balayage hair to get like some like trendy color that's gonna last like a couple months and then it'll be out of style and I was just like you know it's not fun but I noticed that <clears throat> like having I, I, this might just be me but like having brown hair like even if I wore like the most fashionable outfit I still felt like not as cool as people who had that hair color just wanted to like show like my sense of style or like sorry my hands are flying everywhere my like, sense of style and my like fashion sense like even when I wasn't like dressed to the nines because if I didn't if I just had like a sweatshirt on and leggings I just looked like an average Joe and of course I don't want to like you know I want people to know that like I know what I'm doing to some extent like I hit some point I forget when this was but I was just like like no I'm not gonna do it like I I'll dream about it but I'll never get there and I had this conversation with my boyfriend's mom and she looked at me and she was like, you can get there. And I was like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Platinum hair? It's like, yeah, like, it's not that hard. Like, we'll get you there. Your hair will be unhappy, but like, we'll do it. And at that point, I was like, oh my God, like, I'm so doing it. My hair was like a little bit like at my boob basically. And it was, it laid really flat and it was just like, I mean, I loved my hair. I like having like longer hair, but like, it was just 
no. And I called the salon and I made an appointment. I'll make sure to link all of the salon's information and stuff down there so you guys know. The appointment, I freaked out. I literally told everybody like the weekend before I got my hair done, I was like, I'm going blonde. I was just like, this time, next time you see me, I'm gonna be blonde. Everyone was like, whatever. And so I went into the salon, sat for probably four hours before like bleaching and layering and everything before we looked at my hair and realized that my hair was like not happy. It was like started, the end started to melt a little bit, which is just because the ends of my hair were, was the hair that had gone through it the most, you know, probably it's the same hair that I had when I last time went blonde. So it was like, we kind of like had to stop at where we were simply because I didn't want my hair to fall out and I hope that anyone who's going and trying to go blonde realizes that having like hair on your head is much more important than having like platinum hair on the ground. We ended up um, toning it there and ending it there and I left again with like sort of a like a sandy blonde. It was not um, not as bright as I wanted it to be. The ends definitely were as bright as I wanted them to be because they had already been bleached before. Um, I'll throw some pictures like and stuff of what it looked like but it took me like probably a, like two weeks to like not hate it because I was at this point where I like in my head I like wanted platinum blonde hair like right away and just like the last time I knew that that wasn't going to happen and I had to like find like patience in myself to like get myself to a point where I could I could like wait long enough to get to where I want to be instead of like just like jump off the ship like halfway through and so like it was really really hard for me but I basically just had to be as careful with it as possible because knowing that I was going to go blonder later, I really had to keep my hair healthy. I did conditioning masks like once or twice a week. I did like a coconut oil mask at one point, which was really nice. I used like tons of purple shampoo and tons of like hair masks in the shower. This is funny. I ended up buying these really obnoxious scrunchies because my hair, like the middle of my hair, like where I was putting my hair up, was where there was the most damage and so that was the part of my hair that was like the least blonde it was like more of like that orangey peachy blonde from when I dyed my hair pink a couple months ago that was a mistake we already know that click here if you want to see that mistake I was like okay well I have to wear my hair up for work and I don't like the way my hair looks right now because it's not platinum and so I have to find some way to like get past that so I basically like wore my hair up every day with one of those scrunchies or like I wore it up really loosely I didn't wear my hair up really tight when I went to work I wore my hair in like a low ponytail or braids because it left like less tension on that breakage in the middle of my head. And probably after like three three weeks, I started to see like the blonde sort of brightening up. And that's from the purple shampoo and just from um, it sort of washing out or whatever. And like three weeks go by, so I'm like realizing, okay, like my hair is getting kind of healthy again. It's back to that bright blonde. And then I started like brainstorming, like what am I gonna do next? Like. I was thinking like, am I gonna show her the same picture which had like the shadowy root and then like the super white ends or do I wanna go platinum? Like am I liking like this super bright white blonde? Like I originally thought that I wanted more of a natural blonde and I don't think I do because I had that natural blonde like basically the first time I, around and I didn't really like it on me. It didn't look natural so I think like there was no way to reach that like natural look so I just was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go like platinum. <laughs> It, was, it ended up being about a full month from the first time that I got my hair done to when I finished sort of my blonde journey and in fact it's not even finished yet and I'll go about that later. So I went in there yesterday and the first thing that I said to Tracy was just to let you know I'm gonna chop my hair off. In fact that also like kind of helped like the whole process of going blonde because we didn't have to worry about the ends of my hair like frying off. Then we went and like washed it all out and it was turning out like really really warm and so like my always, my hair always turns warm and that's apparently apparently because I have really warm like undertones in my eyes so like I have that like really fiery like hair color when you try to bleach it which is why I've had so much trouble going blonde in the first place and also why a lot of people have a lot of ease going blonde in the first place so don't watch a video and see someone get to platinum white in one sitting and think that your hair is going to be exactly the same because everyone's hair is different and everyone's hair is going to react differently so you have to like prepare and it also helps having a hairstylist who knows your hair that way they know like you know what level of developer or whatever that they need to get your hair up to you know whatever you want after like a crap ton of toning and tugging and what ugh, my head hurts so bad but like I finally got to this blonde and I'm gonna look in the viewfinder for a second so I can show you guys but as you can see like these ends are really really bright 
these parts are a little bit yellow but that's just because like my hair was gonna fall out and so I'm going back in in about two weeks and I'm going to um, do like a silver white tone on it and that's gonna get it to like the color that I want which I'm really excited about and I'm happy that I made that appointment now because then I'm not gonna chicken out in two weeks and be like oh, I need more time that is my journey I've dyed my hair like every color of the possible rainbow so don't even for one second think that my hair like is not dead because it is so if you guys want to see like an updated hair routine or like how I'm like managing like my new blonde hair make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe so that when I post that video you actually see it anyways thank you guys for watching uh, I will link as I said all of the salon information and all of Tracy's information down below if you want to go get your hair done or make an appointment or go blonde make sure to subscribe because I love having new friends and I will see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.